I don't know about you, but I think it's a fair assumption uh, to make that you guys know how to compute perimeters and areas of things. At least you have the formulas with you. So we're going to work on them just a little bit, but uh, we're going to connect perimeters and areas and say how they work with similar triangles. And just remember, a similar triangle means um, congruent angles and the sides have the same similarity ratio. So we're going to fill out some tables. We're going to use regular polygons for these ones, and which means that when I'm looking at two regular triangles, they are similar triangles. Okay, the ratio of sides. So first of all, these are all two, because this is regular, and this is regular, so they all have the same thing there. Ratio of sides here is 2 to 4, which is 1 to 2. Perimeter here is 6. Perimeter here is 12. And by the way, the more I speed this up, the better off you are. I don't think I have to tell you how I'm getting perimeter here. If you do have questions, please let me know about it. Ratio of perimeter, 6 to 12 is 1 to 2. Area, half base times height. Here's my base, 2. Height, square root of 3, so 2 square root of 3. Half of that is square root of 3. Half of this one, this was a 4, by the way. 4 times 2 times square root of 3 is 8 times the square root of 3. Oh, and half of, I'm sorry, half of 8 times the square root of 3 is 4 times the square root of 3. So my ratio of areas is root 3 over 4 root 3. Threes cancel. This is a 1 up here, by the way. So I have a 1 to 4 ratio of areas. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving on here. Um, this is a square, again, regular, so all twos, all threes. So my ratio of sides, my side ratio is 2 to 3 for all of them. Again, these are similar. Perimeter, 8. Perimeter here, 12. So 8 over 12 is also 2 over 3, reducing that. Area, 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. So my ratio of areas is 4 to 9. I can't simplify that anymore. Moving on down. Ratio of sides. Now, for a hexagon, you might have to double-check this stuff and remember, but you'll, you'll check the radius. You'll see that. You'll see these are all 60. So this is an equilateral triangle right here. So this is 6 along with all of them. So all of those sides are 6. And again, regular hexagon, all of these are 8. So I have 6 to 8 ratio of sides, which is 3 to 4. Perimeter, 6 times 6, there are 6 of them, is 36. And this is 8 times 6, which is 48. <clears throat> 36 over 48, I can divide 12 into 36, I get 3. 48 into 12, I get 4. Area, this one you have to compute a little bit more. Um, you have to find an apothem. Let me do it over here. I find the apothem. This is 60 degrees and 30 degrees. So opposite 30 is, so this whole length is 6. Half of 6 is 3. So opposite three, 30 is 3. Opposite 60 will be right here, 3 root 3. So that's my apothem, 3 times the square root of 3. And the formula for the area is 1 half apothem times perimeter. <clears throat> half of 36 is 18. 3 times 18 is 54. So I have 54 root 3 as my area. As you notice, 3 root 3, uh, 3 is half of 6 and multiply by root 3. So this one will be 4 root 3. Take half of 8, then multiply by root 3, because this is 4. So my uh, area here is one half apothem, so half of four root three, which is two root three, times perimeter. So what's 48 times two root three? That is 96 root three. Okay, so my areas are 54 and 96 root three. Uh, ratio of areas is 54 over 96, whatever that is. Let's see. Those can both divide into nine. No, into, not nine, six. 54 over six is nine. 96 over 6 is 15, 6, 16. So I get 9 to 16. This one's a little tricky because you have letters, but just, you know, go with me here. My ratio of sides, okay, first of all, count how many sides you have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10-sided 10 polygon, okay. If the whole perimeter is P, then one of the sides is P over 10. If the whole perimeter here is 4p, one of the sides is 4p over 10, or that can reduce to 2p over 5. Okay, so the ratio of sides here, um, it looks kind of difficult. Take, take p over 10, divide by 2, here, I'll keep this as 4p over 10, because now my 10s can cancel out. And I'm left with p over 4p, p's cancel out, and I'm just left with 1 over 4. So 
My ratio size is 1 to 4. <coughs> perimeter, this perimeter is P, I already tell you that. This perimeter is 4P, I already tell you. So ratio of sides, again, a ratio of perimeters. P over 4P is 1 over 4. Area, I'm going to write it down here. For this one, the area is 1 half, my apothem, which is A, times my perimeter, which is P. So it is 1 half AP. I don't know why I wrote it down there. The other one, which I will write down here because I have to do some calculations, 1 half apothem, which is 4A, times perimeter, which is 4P. 4 times 4 is 16, half of 16 is 8. So I have 8AP. So ratio of areas here, both of them have AP in it, so those kind of cancel. And the question here is, <coughs> excuse me, how much did I, how many 1 halves can fit into 8? Well, 2 1 halves go into 1, 8 1s go into 8, so 2 times 8 is 16. So this will be a 1 to 16 ratio. So the question now is, I've, I've done some examples, and now we have to see a pattern here. <clears throat> the ratio of perimeters of two similar polygons is blank, the ratio of their sides. What's the relationship with ratio of perimeters and ratio of sides? You'll see here, 1 to 2, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 3 to 4, 1 to 4, 1 to 4. They look to be equal, and there's no difference, and that should make sense. They should be equal to one another. It's equal to the ratio of their sides. Now the ratio of the areas of two similar polygons. Check this out now. We go from 1 to 2 to 1 to 4, 2 to 3 to 4 to 9, 3 to 4 to 9 to 16, 1 to 4 to 1 to 16. Now, it's not that we multiply them by 2. Here we do, from 2 to 4, but not from 3 to 9, not from 4 to 16, not from 1 to 1. There's another relationship. Just think about it for two seconds, and I'll reveal it to you. Okay, I'm squaring each number. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. You square each value to get from ratio of sides or perimeters to ratio of areas. Okay, So the ratio of areas of two similar polygons is the square of the ratio of their sides. <clears throat> and I'm going to explain that down here. It should make sense when we do it down here. Um, so these shapes are similar. And I'm also going to mention this one is... Um, uh, <laughs> isosceles triangle, so is this as well, okay? So they are similar, they already say they are, so from 4 to 2, so this is 4 to 16, I go 4 across, this goes 16 across, um, <clears throat> so this is 1, 2, 3, 4 of these would equate to that, so my ratio of sides, which is the same as my ratio of perimeters, by the way, is 4 to 16 or 1 to 4. You can double check this here. 2 to 8 is also 1 to 4. Ratio of areas. First of all, let's compute the areas, and then we'll double check it, drawing. Um, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 16 is 128. So the question is, is 8 over 128, or what is 8 over 128? Divide 128 by 8, we'll see. 128 divided by 8 is 16. So we should have a 1 to 16 ratio of areas here. Now, let's double check and see if this makes sense. What I'm going to do is draw in rectangles and see if I get, for every one here, I can fit in 16 into here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So here I have 16. So it's strange with area, or you know, with ratio of sides, I'm only counting four here. How many fours do I fit into 16? One, two, three, four. Okay, but for area, I have to doubly check that. I have to check that for two and eight as well. Two, four, six, eight. So here it's saying how many rectangles do I fit into here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. So 16 of them fit into here. So it's kind of different for areas. You have to square the amount. I'm counting four here. 4 here, 4 squared is 16. Okay, same with the triangles here. This is 10 and this is 5, but so this whole, whole thing is 10, half of it is 5. Okay, so ratio of perimeters, I don't yet know what this is. I didn't say it's equilateral. So this is a 3 blank 5 triangle, so these are going to be 4 each. And um, this one here, if, if everything here, ratio of perimeters is the same as ratio of sides. If this goes 5 to 10, that's 1 to 2. 
So if this height in this triangle is 3, the height in this triangle is 6. Excuse me. So this is 8, and this is 8, which makes sense. It's 4 plus 4. Could have figured it out that way as well. So the perimeter of my small one is 5 plus 8, which is 13, plus 5, which is 18. This perimeter is 10 plus 10, which is 20, plus 8 plus 8, which is 16, so 36. So it's 18 to 36, which is 1 to 2. Makes sense there. Okay, let's find the areas first, and then we'll draw in the triangles. Area of this is half base times height, so 8 times 3, which is 24, over 2 is 12. So this is 12 square units. The big one is 8 plus 8, which is 16, times 6. 16 times 6 is 96. Half of 96 is 48. So this is 48 square units, the big one. So the ratio of areas is 12 to 48. You can divide 12 into both, and you get 1 to 4. Let's see if that makes sense. The question is, can I fit four triangles, four of the, whoops, four of the smaller triangles into the bigger triangle? Let's draw and see. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. And it looks like here's the fourth one. It's upside down, but it's there. I can fit four 12, area of 12 triangles into a triangle with area 48. That's why the ratio of areas is 1 to 4. Okay, so <clears throat> another way to put these, if I draw like a, uh, like a little wheel thing, if I have similar, let's see, if I do ratio of sides, ratio of perimeters is the same thing. Go from ratio of sides to ratio of areas, I have to square it. I go from ratio of perimeters to ratio of areas, I also have to square it. Ratio of areas to ratio of perimeters and ratio of sides, I have to take the square root of that ratio that way. So these are both equal. Okay, so I hope that makes sense here. Where um, if my side, I should have probably put ratio of sides squared. Um, but I hope that makes sense there. If I take the ratio of sides, I square it to get the ratio of areas. I square both values. 1 squared is 1, 4 squared is 16 etc. Ratio of sides and ratio of perimeters are the exact same. 3 to 4, 3 to 4, 1 to 2, 1 to 2. Okay, so this was actually part of your homework, so I actually did the front half for you. The back half are other actual questions for you to do. And uh, yeah, so use these as notes, but also use it as homework for assignment number 17.